all right what's good homies welcome back to another rugby league like 3 beer pro video we're back playing some survivalist ash taylor and as you can see it's finals week so the daily m awards get announced and if you take a close look here in seven games we almost became the daily m player of the year i guess it wasn't really that close we're four away from tying and one away from winning so i thought i'd just share that with you guys before we get into this week's game as you can see here, we'll be playing uh, the Rabbitohs in the final game of the week. The loser gets a second chance, they go to the semis, whilst the winner gets a week off and heads straight to the preliminary final. Alright, so their squad, English, Johnston and Goodwin are the back three. Dalakai and Jennings are in the centres, Walker and Reynolds in the halves. In the back row, they've got Sutton, Murray and Crichton. And in the front row, they've got George Burgess, Tom Burgess and Farah. On the bench, Tyrrell, Cherrington, Kelly and Jason Clark. As we get into the game here and our road to the finals has been pretty been pretty cruisy. We've been uh we've been getting by quite comfortably. In all seven games since we've started with Taylor, the score lines have been in the double digits, and I'm pretty sure most games we've kept the opposition under 10 points. So our defense as a unit has been on point. As Haral finds space here, and it's gonna get wrapped up five meters out. Our defense individually though has been pretty laughable. We usually get stepped all fended off most of the time as Hayne tries to take it to the line so if you weren't aware after this series is done we'll be doing our second season of young quest playing in the first grade for the raiders and that'll most likely be our last rugby league life 3 beer pro series that's if we get the game mid-july but as you can see here we're gonna get denied a try it was a decent little kick but it was well defended too so clutch defense from the rabbitos as we stop them here Another try saving tackle, this time it's from Jared Hain on John Sutton, great tackle. So after that stop, we're back with the Rabbitohs, fifth and last. The Lagai puts up the bomb, and we've got Reynolds under it, he makes the catch and he's going to score their first try of the game, as he looks to convert his try here from virtually right in front, and they're going to take the lead up by 6 early on in the match. So approaching the 20 minute mark, we have an attacking scrum on their 20, as we shifted to the blind side here and Harrell almost makes it to the line. We were trailing inside but we couldn't get the ball. Alright so it's the first tackle, we're in at first receiver. We're gonna drop it inside for James, gets past one. And he's gonna get wrapped up by two, five meters out. Second tackle as we call for it. Show it outside, drop another ball back inside to Bulu this time. But he's gonna get held up. Fourth tackle here as we put it on the toe. And it's going to be Jared Hayne who scoops it up and scores our first try of the game. We were pretty relentless on their try line, but their defense was solid. The forwards weren't crashing over, so we just put it in behind the line, and Jared Hayne was there to reap the rewards. As we run onto it here, get the pass out to Harrell, and he gets thumped in a solid tackle. Alright, so we find our way back to their try line. I can't remember how we got that penalty, that might have been a high tackle. But off the tap, Conrad Harrell is going to score another try. As we get the green lights, and we're going to take the lead with the kick to come. And it's off the upright, so we're only up by four. Back in attack here. 29 minutes in. As we go wide to Hayne. And it looks like he's going to race away here as he gets around their fullback. And he's going to race away for our third try of the game. His second of the match. Sometimes you just know when you get those strike players. When you put them in space with a lot of room to move. They're a big chance of running around defenders and scoring a try, as Hayne did there for us. Alright, just before half time, we get fended off by Cody Walker. As they get a quick play of the ball, and they quickly shift it to the left, and it's going to be Dalakai who scores their second try of the game. A crucial play by the Rabbitohs as Reynolds converts and gets them within four, heading into the break. As we take a quick look at the half time stats here, we had most of the ball during the half, and for all the defense that South Sydney had to do, they did pretty well only missing 10 tackles out of 61. Alright so back in the second half here as they call for it. Go wide to Zilman. A nice ball puts him in space down the sideline. Almost makes it to the try line but it's going to get pulled down by Inglis. As we call for it on the last. Put it on the toe. Another nice little kick. And it's going to be Connie Harrell this time pouncing on that. For our fourth try of the game. As we convert it here and we want to extend the lead to 10. Alright, so we're 60 minutes, or 68 minutes into the game. South Sydney with ball in hand, and that guy gets hit in a solid tackle by Hayne. They then go short to Murray, who gets tackled for a loss. As they go wide once again, this time it's Dalakai once again. 
He's met by Hayne in the tackle but then drags him over the line for the final try of the game, pretty much a consolation try. As we wrap things up here, full time at ANZ Stadium, we defeat the Rabbitohs 22 points to 18 and we'll be making our way to the preliminary. It isn't the end for the Rabbitohs though, they do get a second chance heading to the semis. As we take a look at the full time stats, we pick up man of the match and as always, drop that like button for more content. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you later.